I have been doing a lot of med trains in these past few years. I'm the med train guy. And with that, I've gotten a lot of experience as well. And I want to share a bit of that experience in how you can make meta trains, how you can get people to join them, how you can make them very good gold, and how you can make them faster and efficient. So here's the video for that. I'll do as much as I can so you guys can become the best commanders that you can with not that much effort and of course, you know, maybe get a bit of confidence. So maybe you can do a few meta trains in my Discord, in any Discord you want, even in your own Discord. Subscribe to the channel for more content of this. Go to my Patreon if you want to support me in the description. And let's get into it. So, how do you start doing a matter train in the first place? First of all, very important. At the end of the day, guys, all of these things that I'm going to talk about you today are not that important. Uh, as long as you have your waypoint and you tell them where to go, um, they'll be happy. They will follow you as a commander. And that's where you want to start. Don't feel overwhelmed. These are all suggestions and things that you can get better at. But as long as you start, that is the important part. Most people will help you even during the meta train to get you, you know, to if you miss anything. So don't worry about it too much. The mechanics are very easy. And believe me, once you start doing this, it will be very, very easy. And you understand that it really isn't that hard. You just kind of have to, you know, do that little push to get in there. What I really recommend usually is to make a little bit of a copy pasta thing. And what is a copy pasta? It's essentially, um, it's essentially just a list of all the um, things you want to say in your meta train, the mechanics that happen in each meta, the uh, waypoints that you want to link. Like, hey, you want to go to Octavan, guys? Let's go here, right? For example, right? Um, and a little bit of advertisement for your guild, for your Discord, or whatever you want. You can also, of course, just go inside of here, right? Um, and just link. Let's say that you want to go Octavan and you want to talk to your squad. You can just tell, guys, we're going to, you know, Octavan. Or don't even say Octavan. You can just be shift, left click, boop. And it will appear on your uh, message here, on your um, chat. And you can just tell them to your squad chat. It is also important to note here that you have multiple ways of communicating with your squad chat. You have the say chat, you know, you, you say anything here and it'll appear in the bubble here. You have the slash map that will make it so you will um, you will communicate with everyone inside of the instance, right? So if you're in Auric Basin, for example, that will go, you know, to everyone here in that instance of Auric Basin, right? Uh, you also have Squad chat, of course, which will mean that you will be communicating to your whole squad. So let me say, let's say that I, you know, create a, a tag. Uh, you know, everyone who is in the squad, if I talk to a squad chat, I'll talk to them, right? The other thing, I uh, also have party chat, which essentially will make it so if you, you know, it will only communicate to the party where you're at. So, you know, we have subgroups in this game. Uh, you have, you know, uh, for example, right now I was, I was, I was in sub one, subgroup one, and um, I'll communicate with everyone in subgroup two, but I can move them to another one. I can move them to subgroup two, for example. Um, and uh, if I go to party, I will only talk to the pers to the people in my own subgroup. You can get as many people in subgroup as you want, but we'll talk about that, uh, you know, about subgroups a bit later on the video. Another thing that is very important. Um, that is very useful to do way more damage in, you know, these scenarios, is subgroups. Subgroups um, are very useful because there's two main boons that give a lot of damage to everyone around you, which are alacrity and quickness. You want these two boons to be there all the time. And you can do that even in an open world meta uh, train. You can just kind of... I mean, there's a few ways of doing this. You can essentially assume which uh, classes are which boons. You can ask them. There's another thing that you can do in your in in squads. You can like in your squad message, you can go in here, especially for something like um, Dragon Sun. You can be like, if you are a Lacquery, go to sub two. Uh, if you are Quickness, go to sub three. And that way, people essentially they um they put themselves in the correct subs. Uh, and then you can just move them, uh, you know, to the subs. So we have one alacrity and one quickness on each of the subgroups. Ideally, also, you want subgroups to be five-man. Uh, that way, 
that quickness and likery goes to all of them as well. So you want each group of five people, uh, each subgroup with five people to have quickness uh, and one alikery, right? One quickness and one alikery. And uh, that's kind of what you want. And if you don't want to do this and it's too annoying, just honestly, wing it. Just wing it. Uh, you can, by looking at what class they are, what spec they are, you can more or less guess whether they are which born, right? Um, you can tell them, yeah. So here I did, I did a little bit of a of a little chart. Uh, thanks, by the way, to Shloy, uh, Shilo, not Shloy, Shilo, uh, for doing this insanely good uh, tab with every boon in the game on every class. It's very very useful, and it helped me. You know, it, I didn't do this whole thing, and I'll leave it this one in the description as well. Uh, but I did this, you know, I used this to get this little one uh, right here for you guys, and uh, you know, I have all the quickness. Uh, classes here and I have all the alacrity classes here with the likeliness of each of the specs to actually bring that boon because sometimes they're not gonna bring that boon they're instead gonna bring a DPS uh, they're gonna be a DPS or whatever right so yeah so this one hopefully helps you to kind of think about oh firebrand most likely is gonna be quickness so hey we have a quickness there druid most likely gonna be alacrity so I'm gonna have a firebrand and a druid in one subgroup boom we have both of those boons together. Easy peasy. Isn't that nice? The other thing that you can use as well is, uh, right, uh, if you have your squad broadcast, you can use your squad broadcast, as you can see right here. Let me just do... Wait, I need to move the thing here. There we go. So your squad broadcast is this little thing here. You can shift enter in order to type on it, boop, 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 and it will appear in the middle of the screen, whatever you wanna type, which is very good, specifically for very important mechanics like cc now or you know if there's an emergency move there right very very important very useful thing that you can use and you can also use it you know to say guys let's move to the this other map uh, just so they know that we're moving somewhere else right and you can also use it for advertisement and things like this you can also do and this is a little bit of a trick that you can do slash one inside of the squad broadcast and it will communicate you can just communicate to each of the subgroups in the squad, and this will only go to sub two, right? The subgroup two. If I want subgroup one, I can just type slash one, or if I want to communicate with the people in subgroup one, I can just do slash one, and they will only be a herd for the people that are in sub one. Very, very cool, very important, very useful. Uh, yeah, so use this, um, use this things to communicate with your squad in the, you know, in the way that you want to communicate. You also, of course, you have your squad message as well that can be used uh, to say, hey, guys, join our guild, right? And you type, uh, you know, the discord.gg slash whatever, right? Uh, and you can use this so whenever they join your squad, they actually know where to go. You can also use it for commanding, like, okay, guys, um, this is going to be, you know, our train. We're going to go, uh, you know, Octavine, then we're going to go to... Uh, you know, draw a car, and then we're gonna go to blah, 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 and you can just continuously put that in. You can do whatever you want in the squad message. Just, you know, think what you're gonna do, and uh, ideally, I think, it's good to have everything ready. For example, I have, my squ uh, well, yeah, I have my squad message here on this side, so I can just, every day, I can just copy it into the squad message and not have to type it again. I also, of course, have all of the mechanics here and all of my, uh, you know, all the things that I usually say. As well, um, Personally, I like using this specific, very specific add-on called Chat Shorts from Blish HUD. You just kind of go here in uh, Blish HUD, install it, and in my model rep uh, repository, you can just check Chat Shorts, and you can have... Oh, there you go, update. I should probably update it. Ooh, I should update it later because I don't want to break it. But yes, you will get this, you know, very good, very, very good, um, very good add-on that when you use it you can type everything you need uh, from your copy pastas and you can make them not only send to one per to one you know message you can actually make it uh, sent to everything you want you can make it to, so it sell so it sounds so it sends the squad message to the map chat to the guild to whatever you want and you can add as many lines as you want and also on the maps that you want. For example, this, San Dajun, this one, will only trigger if I'm in Saitong province. It's very, very useful. And the way I activate it is by using my voice. I say Zendajun into the mic and it will type everything here 
into the map chat, into the guild chat, into the squad chat. You can use this as, as much as you want in the way that you want. Very, very useful. Uh, let me see. What else next? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Another thing that is good uh, to consider is... Waypoints. You want to have your waypoints. You want to have the waypoints that you are going to use for your meta train. You don't want to be stuck. I, this has happened to me uh, where, you know, for example, I want to go to Leyline Anomaly. And Leyline Anomaly happens in multiple maps. It happens in Iron Marches, in Timber, in uh, Timberline uh, Falls, I think it's called. Yeah, Timberline Falls and in Gendarm Fields, depending on the time of day, right? And sometimes, in certain characters, I don't have the waypoints. I'm like, oh no, I need to change characters. I'm going to miss the event. And everyone uh, already went there with, without me, and I can't get into the event. You don't want that happening. If you're going to be the commander, ideally, you want to have all the waypoints that you're going to need for your own meta train. If not, you can also use your teleport to front, but uh, it's going to be slower, and you want to be the first one there. You're the commander, right? Uh... Consumables. You also want to use certain consumables. Uh, way station. I don't have it here, but you should. Okay, the way station from uh, Ice Root Saga that you get from this World Coast. You can buy it right here in the base camp waypoint. It's very useful as it gives you the electro magical way uh, way station. Wait, it gives you the electro magical pulse uh, that you can use with your special action key that will give a lot of CC to. Uh, enemies, right? And it's very useful in most metas that are specifically the ones that are not private ones. Uh, they're not instanced. Uh, it's very, very, very good. Where's the... Uh, where's the... Do, 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 do. Where's the way station? Where do you get it? I, I haven't bought this in so long. I usually just buy them from the actual way station. Yeah, can you, uh, there we go. United, United Legion's way station. I can just buy it from there. Um, yeah, very useful. You also, from this one, you can use the remote charges actually, which are very useful because you can just shoot them into Siege and it will destroy the Siege way faster. This works for Dragon Sand uh, in the you know shields that you have. This works for Yellow Delves in the walls that you have in the in the in the um, in the meta. Everything that is Siege damage that you can delete with your turtle, uh, you can use the remote charge with. Very, very useful. And yeah, as you can see here, you can buy the portable United Way Lay uh, Legion's Way Station from here or from any United Legion's Way Station as well. Uh, you, need, you do need this war supplies, but honestly, if you don't want to do Drizzle Wood, you can just go in here and do the daily material thing here if you're lazy like me, and uh, you'll be able to get enough of that. Okay, so there you go. Uh, the next one is going to be advertising discords. Uh, discords are very huge in Guild Wars 2. People. Um, that's how people know that events are happening and you can just go in here into my discord right into the LFG Gears to LFG you can just post here look at how many events are happening you can go to Hearthstock you can go to the guilds MMs and trading company anyone here just post your train even if you're not a commander or a person known in that um Discord, you can just tag usually in the LFG, add open world and A, add the Gilbert's 2, add LFG, whatever uh, role they have there, and you'll be able to get a lot of people playing with you. Okay? Very good. You also want to, of course, advertise in the map chat that you're doing the meta train, and that you're doing your meta in that specific map. You want to advertise, for example, if you're in Skywatch Archipelago doing the meta event there, you want to advertise here, advertise your group, say meta or Meta train, uh, you know, bullets on magic, meta train, legendary meta train, secret of the obscure meta train, whatever it is, just put it there so people know what they're going for, right? You can also, after you put it yourself in the LFG, oh, and also remember to, after you done from Skywatch and let's say you move to Amnitas, move your LFG there as well. Um, what you can do is do slash LFG into the chat, just type it here, and your presence will be change to looking for group this will mean that everyone that you know for example let's say i'm this group in this as matter everyone that is my friend or is following me will be notified that i am looking uh for people for meta right if it says meta train everyone will be um notified that i'm looking for people for meta train and it will appear just like this in their uh in their lfg so in their chat so very very good tool to use to get people into it right um yeah 
there you go. That's, I think that's everything for the preparation part of uh, making a meta train. The next thing, I think, is to how to create your own meta train as well. There's a lot of things you can consider, uh, but I think what the best thing to do is to take one... Uh, where are, is... Oh, there we go. The best thing is to get one event that you really like, or two, and weave them together. So let's say I really, I really like Octovine, and I want to start with Octovine. There we go. And let's say, where do I want to end? I want to end in something very popular. Because actually, this is a very important thing as well. You want to start with something very popular to get a lot of people in. And you want to end with something very popular so people are waiting to do it. So they stay for the whole run, right? So we can start with Octoman, very popular, into Dragon Sand, for example. Right? So you could do... And then you just weave them together through this uh, little website, right? go from Octovine to, I don't know, what else could it be? Uh, we go Dead Brand Shatter, there we go. Then we go to Junoon Rising. Uh, then, oh, Palauran, perfect. And then Fortifier. And then into Piñata. And then into Junundu. Oh, we did read Junundu. Serpent's Iron, not really, but you know what I mean, right? Uh, just keep, you know, stacking them together until at the end you make it to Dragons and the Battle for the JT. And you got your meta train. Very easy, right? Now, this obviously comes with practice into knowing, you know, when, how much of these metas, you know, how much does these metas take for you to actually weave them together. But I have a little bit of a list here. Uh, there we go. And of this list with my copy pastas, it actually tells you more or less how much time this ones take, right? So this will hopefully help you um, into making your own meta train in, you know, if Octavine takes five minutes and then... You know, can you actually make it to the car? Yes, you can, right? Uh, so yeah, hopefully it, it helps you. And if you have any questions, and if you need me to make your MetaTrain for you, I can do it. It won't probably take me that long. I really just want people to lead as much as they can so we can, you know, have a MetaTrain going for the whole day, every day. That's my dream, you know? It truly is my dream, so maybe one day. Uh, but yeah. Um, the other thing that you can consider, and it's very important as well, as well, any hiccups uh, is the spawnability, I guess, of the metas themselves. Uh, metas spawn in very different ways. Uh, you have metas that are spawnable with items, you have metas that are um, spawnable by talking to an NPC, uh, like Dragonstorm or whatever. And they also have a public version that happens every few hours. You have normal metas, non spawnable, that just happen at the right time. And some of those happen, get late spawns, and some of them get early spawns, right? And we're going to talk about what this means, of course, but they all have a different, you know, way of spawning, right? We're going to go for the uh, for the spawnable first. We have this very interesting item, guys. Uh, let me just go in here, and you want to go to, for example, Tequaddle is one of this a specific metas that you can spawn at any point if you have the right item and it's a guild item that you have on your guild storage uh, you just go to this oh people are actually doing it right now uh, I didn't know it happened at this time I'm not gonna lie uh, let me just go there right uh, but look I'll, I'll show you anyways right uh, you go to this little flag thingy that is inside of uh, you know the place where you should draw car spawns and you use this specific item. Oh, he just left. Yeah, there we go. Guild World Event. Right there. You can see it there. And if you talk to it, it'll say, if your guild wants to die, blah, 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 whatever. You need to use a consumable. So you want to go to your guild, uh, go to storage, and if you press vault, no, guild world event, guess what? You're gonna spawn the map. You're just gonna spawn the meta. This happens for Karka Queen. This happens for Tequaddle, and this happens for uh, Tupper Trouble, right? This all, of course, have you know actual times in the you know day that happens, anyways. But you can spawn them at any point as well. Then we have public slash private events like Dragon Storm, Battle for Line Search, Tower for Tower of Nightmares, Marinette, and the Convergences. This you can have to you know you can talk to. A specific um, NPC. Uh, most of them are in Eye of the North. The only one that you know isn't is uh, the convergence that happens in Wizard's Tower. Uh, and you know, to open that one, uh, you need to get a unstable Cryptus Essence to open a private instance of that. Uh, otherwise, you do have have to you know 
go for the public one that happens every three hours. The other ones, uh, as Butterfly and Sarge, Drownstorm, and um, Marinette, happens here in Eye of the North. You just talk to the guy. If it's the public version, it's not up. And you can see the uh, when it's up on the event tab, of course. There's also, by the way, very, very good uh, Blitz HUD uh, add-on. It shows you all the... Uh, it shows you all of the metas. Very, very useful here. Okay, very good. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you can just talk to the to this guy, Break Harrowflight, for the Dragonstorm Private Squad, and you can talk to Mist Stranger for the Marinette, Tower Miners, and Butterfly and Search. There you go. Very easy. Uh, yes. Next, you have Right on Time. These are just uh, events that happen right on the time that it says here. At the beta salt. Aspen Wood, Metal Concert, all these ones happen at the right, exactly at the same time that you say here, right? Then we have the exceptions, uh, the late spawns and the early spawns. Dead Brand Shatter, for example, it spans at the right time, but also it has a very, very, very long escort that you don't have to do. Uh, as you can see here, the escort starts at literally, you know, at the top of the hour, but uh, it, the actual boss spawns at 50 minutes. You don't have to do the escort. As long as the map uh, is uh, has spawned, you know, the, the map is as old uh, and older than the escorts, the map will have Dead Brand Shatter even if the escort fails. Right? So, very easy. Uh, so, if you're going to go for Dead Brand Shatter, I would just I would just recommend going at around, you know, 15 hours uh, 15 minutes after the hour, and you probably will get it. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, doppelganger, same thing as Dead Brand Shattered. There's an escort. You don't have to do it. Uh, people most likely... This one actually is important. You have to do the pre-event, but people do it anyways without you. So you just get in there at the end, five minutes before the you know the hour, and or 10 minutes, and you will definitely get it most likely. You can check that on the right side of the... Of the map, right? On this, you know, when it says, um, you know, what the position of the map is, and if it says if if it says that the augury rock is open, double ganger will spawn. If it says it's, if it says it's closed, it means that it will not spawn. What else? Um, yeah. What else do we have? Drakkar. It's, it's a bit weird. Drakkar is very weird. Drakkar. The car happens at XX5, like five minutes after the hour, but it can be spawned until X, until XX10, until 10 minutes after the hour. After that, it gets a bit weird. Sometimes it spawns, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, the only thing that you have to think about is if it says the whispers are quiet for now, the map will not have the car. If it says um, Javi is... Um, is starting the, you know, the escort or the, you know, she's moving or whatever, it means that, you know, it actually will happen. You know, the Dark Art will happen. Uh, Palawaran, you can spawn it a bit later than the what it actually says here, right? It says, Palawaran says that it's at XX45, 15 minutes um, before the hour. Uh, but you can actually make it spawn a bit later after that. And yeah, that, that's it, honestly. Uh, what else do we have? Amitas. Amitas is super weird. Amitas, I don't know why it works this way, but it says that it happens at the top of the hour, but it actually doesn't. It has starts 10 minutes before. If the timer is not there, it means that the Amitas will not uh, spawn if it does. If you don't have the timer 10 minutes before the, the hour. So you want to spawn a map before that. You want to get earlier on Amitas. You can just do rifts in the meantime. It's, it's fine, right? But yeah, it kind of sucks. Sometimes it spawns a late map, like... You know, that will essentially, you know, that if you spawn a map, maybe it's five minutes before the hour, it will spawn it anyways, and, you, and it will have the timer, but it's very inconsistent, I would not recommend that. And Convergence says you can actually, the public ones, you can actually uh, just, uh, uh, you know, get in a bit later. Uh, you have 10 minutes to get in, so even if it spawns at XX30, you know, at the middle of the hour, you can actually uh, get in at you know, XX38 or something like that, and you will be able to get in. And if you get in and your squad doesn't get in, don't worry. They can just teleport to front to you as long as the instance is not full, and you'll be completely fine. And I think that's it. Uh, oh, Chagrin has an early spawn as well. 
Um, that is actually important. Chagrin says right here that it happens at XX30 at the middle of the hour, but it doesn't. It actually, in order to actually get Chagrin, you have to get the timer that starts five minutes before that at XX25. Otherwise, this map will not spawn. The meta will not spawn. And I think that's about it for that. Um, let me see if I missed anything. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we're good. I think that's everything I want to talk about today. I want to talk about, of course, the actual mechanics of each of these matters and what makes them fail. But the video is already kind of long and I don't want to talk too much. So I'm going to make another video on the profitability of all these matters so you can decide on which ones you should pick. Um, the ways that they fail and the things that you should do in each of the metas. And of course, uh, maybe a tier list of the best ones that I, you know, I think they're the best, right? Yeah, that, I think so. Uh, but honestly, guys, the biggest thing, and this might feel daunting, but when I started, I didn't know any of this. I really didn't. Um, I just kind of went for it because people wanted me to do it and there was no one else to do it. And I just went in and uh, it feels daunting, but Honestly, what most people care about when leading a meta train, what they want you to do is just tell you the waypoints. That's about it. If you give them the waypoints, they'll be happy. All these other things, they're nice, but it's really not that important. <laughs> uh, you can definitely do it because you know you want to get better, but they'll follow you anyways. And eventually you'll get the experience you need to become the best commander. Okay, and maybe, you know, hopefully you get better than I do. Uh, than, than I am. That would be awesome, honestly. So, tell me if you have any questions on Discord, on comments down below, anything. And, uh, yeah, see you guys around. Go to my Patreon if you want to support my content creation because uh, I really love doing this. And, um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. See you guys on stream as well. Twitch.tv slash Terrence with us. Go to my Discord as well to hang out offline. See you guys around. Love you all. Bye-bye.